The Share Pickers Weekend Podcast with Justin, Paddy, Peter, and Steve. The content of this podcast is not intended as investment advice. It is for information purposes only. People in this podcast may hold positions in the stocks they talk about. Do not buy anything based solely on a tip or recommendation. Please do your own research. Welcome to the Weekend Podcast. It's recorded on a Thursday, uh, but if it's for the weekend, just, you know, something for the weekend. I'm joined mm. by uh, Pete and Break mm. Even Stephen. And uh, have you noticed something? Since Paddy has had his name on the on the on the, uh, on the uh, what do you call it? The um, you know the <laughs> intro. The intro. That's it. Since he's had his name on the intro, since his name's been above the door, he hasn't appeared on it pretty much. <laughs> oh, yeah. That'll do. Uh, you know, as long as it mentions me, I've, I won't give him any more content. It's fine. It's fine. Yeah. But um, yeah, apparently he's filming stuff in Wimbledon. Is yeah. He like, is he like? Mm-hmm. Is he like to do that? The BBC have the rights to that. Um, yeah, he's <laughs> just there with his mobile. <laughs> yeah, very yeah. important. He's doing stuff anyway. How's your week mm. been, boys? Uh, good. Uh, I don't know if you guys happened to watch the football at all. That was quite good. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah, Steve. Yeah, yeah, it's been an alright week actually. Yeah, a, <laughs> it, did you know weirdly I worked out that I've not actually worked much this week, but I'm very run down. So um, it just shows that I'm quite lazy at the moment. <laughs> okay. what do you mean you're very run down. What do you mean, Steve? Do you mean yeah, it, it, what's, what's this? Is it is discussion? Share, the, share, share, Steve. I think the heat's getting to me. Yeah. The heat. Well, I've just had a couple of busy days filming and a couple of very intense ones where it's right. set up the set up a shoot and then you've got to go to a different place, set, reset up a shoot. And it's just yeah, just a lot of work. And then obviously it's just hot and having to wear a mask. It's just. Uh, but yeah, so that's pretty much my week. Yeah. Why didn't you wear like a scary mask or something there, just to liven it up? Because that would be even hotter than the normal mask. Yeah, I'd wear it. yeah, yeah, yeah. Sweating like a pig in like uh, one of those uh, Freddy Krueger masks or something. Yeah. Yeah. I'm okay. not sure that's going to fix the problem. Yeah, yeah. And also, I don't think I'll get rehired. So, you no, know, very clients. You got this guy. He's, he's good at his stuff, but he wears a Freddy Krueger mask. <laughs> 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 I don't know if I can recommend him. You know, he's uh, just been on that bit of him. Uh, but, you know. uh, anyway, yeah. Well, I don't know. If, I don't know. On Thursday, and this recording is on Thursday, it was, um, you know, it was a very volatile day for one of my shares. And, uh, and Steve, yes. Steve you're in, you in biome technology, isn't you? Yeah. Did you bio, look at it? Bio me. Yeah, bio me. Bio, yes, bio me. Um, bio but Steve, me. Normally, Steve doesn't, you know, doesn't look at the market at all. And then at the end of the day, he says, what happened there? <laughs> <laughs> right at the end of the day. What the heck happened there? And Steve, we talked about this like 10 hours ago. What's wrong with yeah. you? But, um, yeah. But do you know what I think, right? This is, I mean, the market, though, right? It's volatility, you know? And uh, it's very emotional volatility. I mean, I, I saw this sort of, sort of quote, uh, stock market volatility is the price you pay for better gains, you know? Uh, the, mar- the price can manifest itself in a paper loss, which takes an emotional toll. I do feel like that. When I take a big knock on a share, it does emotionally hit me a little bit, you know? I, I feel a bit worn out by, oh, oof. Yeah. Oof. Maybe that's what it is today. Yeah, yeah that's what it is uh, today. Yeah. 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 Well, it's the heat and it's a share price drop, you know? Mm. That's it. Um, so what is the story with Biome? Um, well, um, essentially, they've got... Uh, the bioplastics division is very exciting. It's growing very well. Um, and they've had... Uh, they've got all different areas, you know, films that they put over trays and stuff like that, or plastic or cutlery, all that stuff, the biodegrades. Uh, but they're also in the coffee pods. And they had one big US customer, and then another US customer then just bought some of their equipment to en- enable to produce these uh, biodegradable coffee pods. And mm. uh, they, so obviously they're fully invested in doing it. They're changing their factory to, to, to install, to get the stuff, you know, churning out these coffee pods. Um, but they've hit a sort of hurdle somewhere. So the services of Indigen hit a hurdle. And so, so they are going to do it. It's going to be delayed. So it's not like it's, yeah. it's stopped that contract. So it's basically pushing the growth out. And so the share price dropped, you know, sort of 20, 23% or something like that. Um, but oddly, so the, the, the broker came out with new targets, new forecasts. And they're still going to be growing by 18% this year, which is not yeah. bad. I look for a target to 20% plus. It was 51%. Okay, so that is going to drop. Now, next year, it's 41%. So they're going back up next year. They expect to come back online. And they also said, um, the, 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 the boss there, Paul Mind, said, trouble is, with our customers we have, existing customers, it's fine because they've got you know inventory and all that stuff. It's fine. It's when we have new customers, we've got a big pipeline of 
growing customers. And obviously, sometimes you have to iterate and give them different designs, all that stuff. And so they, they don't hold your stock. You know, you just they, they ask for something, you send it to them. Yeah. And at the moment, uh, you've got you know, that customer having delays in their factory. Then you've got this shipping, apparently, is a nightmare because these customers in the US. And they said, what, where is taking, we normally take three weeks to ship something to America. At the moment, because of the pandemic and all that stuff, it's taking three months. So he said, uh, obviously, there's delays. So it's just a delay. It's pushed out. And that's the thing, you know. And in situations like this, you can do one of three things. I mean, if you hold the stock, you can you can run for the doors like a crazy panic. And, oh, just sell. We're all going to die. Right. Mm-hmm. Is that and what you did? Yeah. No. You can do that. You can hold. And think, oh, let me read the RNS. The more I read the RNS, the more the, okay, the delay is fine. Yeah. It's, you know, the board kept saying, um, it's the, the board believes that our high rates of growth will return. Um, so, you know, it's a broken forecast there. And it's still valued. Now, it's still valued at two times revenue. That is cheap, mm. you know. Especially with, with there'll, be ca- there'll be cash flow positive next year. And that's only, we, we, you know, where we are, we're July. We're in July already. Mm. So that's like six months away. So, uh, and, 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 you know, they said, you know, a couple of months, this customer will be back online producing properly. So I assume they get an RNS out before then anyway. So it's a, it's a blip. And, you know, <coughs> I've been in stocks this happened before. And on the yeah. day you think, oh, my God, oh, the end of the world is nigh. Oh, you know, and, and then you read the RNS and calm down a bit. And then, you know, a week or so down the line, it starts recovering. Oh, it's not bad, actually. You know? But what about the the pipeline of new business? Like, I get that, that RNS. I saw that RNS. And, uh, and I thought, well, that's, yeah, that's not good. Uh in the short term and obviously it's a delay but like you say it's not that it's not cancelled or anything it's just a delay but um and so they are managing expectations i get that and you know a bit of a profits warning but th- that's not you know that's just one part of their business and one client um what yeah, about so the pipeline think, of other think, opportunities yeah. in the next six 12 months yes 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 so they've got they've got sort of uh, at the moment six there's seven actually big sort of things in the pipeline. There's one big client in America already buying coffee points. This was the second one that was going to be a big one as well. And one of their KPIs, as key performance indicators, is to diversify uh, away from not having uh, one customer, you know, generating more than 15% of the revenue. Yeah. And so this was, uh, this was a lot of this growth is coming from this one big customer as well. So it's just delayed it a little bit, that's all. So they have got, they've got a pipeline. And of course, they take a while to commercialize. When you think about it, yeah. this, this yeah. product they've got you know, it takes like, uh, it's taken seven years to develop these products, these, these biodegradable right. plastics, and they've spent, you know, seven million quid on it, uh, de- developing it. And then when they get to the stage where they've got this, you know, uh, customers, they, they it's bespoke for the customer, you know? So it takes a yeah. while to get the customer to so the pipeline. It's not only they, they know it works because uh, they, they said the first customer, it, it works for them straight away, it's perfect. Uh, on the strength of that, this other customer came on board. But of course, it's a slightly different product, so they have to tweak it, iterate it a little bit. So... That, that's the delay bit. It takes a lot of time to get it right. And then when you get it right, mm. it's fine. You know, once, you, once you're there, you're running. But uh, sales have started already, but um, they haven't... But, but in terms of, like, uh, announcement of new deals, you'd think, you know... So no, yes, no, 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 I said this on, uh, on Disco. D-I-S-C-O. Oh, really? I said, yeah. um, so the brokers, right? They said, um, still show 18% growth this year and back to 40% growth next year. Um... And also, this is about any new customer wins, and they've got a good pipeline, you know? So uh, it's, it's, this is assuming it was dropped off a cliff like this now. It's ridiculous. But, I mean, um, well, 23%. But this is just assuming. This is the worst, whenever you get news like this, everyone assumes the worst-case scenario. Actual fact, they're still growing. They'll be cash flow positive next year. And mm. this is assuming they don't win any more, any more customers, which isn't the case. They, they, if you read their RNSs and, and their final results, they're... They're very close on signing quite a few of them, you know. So yeah, it's it's fine. It's just it's just that one big drop. It, it it'll go mm. it'll it'll go on the bottom of a little few days, but you find it'll soon come back up. Like still, there's still only a 13 million market cap company. They're going to be turning over 6.7 million, you know, this year. Now, if you look through your portfolio, right, of companies that actually do within two times revenue, going to be cash flow positive next year. This is not any. This is the cheapest stock I hold, and, yeah, and yet yeah, it's in a yeah. very hot sector. So I'm not. I'm, I'm, fundamentally, it's fine. It's it absolutely yeah. fine. You know. So um, it's yeah. fine. Yeah, it's fine. Um, so one question we have. Uh, so you bought. Had... You bought. You bought in. Did you in the end? See, fair, uh, P- fair play. You, you 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 missed out on the rally. It started. It hit, it hit twenty nine month high by almost. It started rallying very quickly. Yeah. 
the, yeah. people, people understand, right, is this, the market always throws up opportunities. Now, if you've done a bit mm -hmm. of research, this is your opportunity. Yeah. Don't, don't, when, you, when you've got the... Drop when opportunity. You've got, when, you've, when you've got the drop opportunity to get in there, hit the fire button, hit the, pull the trigger. Yeah, don't sit there yeah. thinking, oh, but start worrying about the future. No. In the future, it'll get better. It'll start rallying. And then all of a sudden, it'll start rising. You'll, I, I guarantee there will be people who pooed their pants this morning, who weed their pants, mm. who held the stock, sold, and will buy back higher. And yep. I think, what do you do that for? Just hold. If you look at that yep. book, 100 Baggers, you know why most people don't have 100 Baggers? It's not because they don't spot them. Plenty of people spot them. Plenty yeah. of people invest in them. Yep. Most people sell out way, 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 way before yep. it ever becomes 100. Do you know what I'm going to do now? I'm going to be my own fund manager. I'm going to have five stocks. I'm going to hold them for five years. Full stop. Right. And, and so that's my, qu my question to you then is, like, and we said this before, because you never used to hold stocks for more than five minutes, let alone five years. Get so, lost. Wow. Get on your bike. <laughs> I think everyone listening to this. Will. Come on, give him credit. Five days. Five, oh, yeah, five, right. five what weeks are you talking push? about? <laughs> you, you know exactly what we're talking about. Uh, um, hang on, how long when, about... we, when we wake up in the morning, it's like, why is the share price gone down? And then you, you you, you, going, no, 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 no. <laughs> listen, 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 listen. That was, that was a long time ago, isn't it? I've yeah, held Playing now for close to much. three years, pretty much, okay. right? Yeah. I've had, held uh, Gfinity for, what, a year and a half, me? Mm. I've been escaped yeah. for a year. Right? And I'm slotting in the next. Uh, now, true fit, right. I've held for about six months now. And the fifth player is Biome. I'm slotting in. Yeah. My, 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 you should always evolve right, your investment case. But uh, these are companies in hot sectors that will be hot for a long time. Plastics? Yeah. Forget about plastics next year. No. Yeah. There are companies yeah. heavily, 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 like Pavarotti in a reliance. <laughs> what? They're, well, uh, they're heavy like Pavarotti was. They're, they're yeah. heavily reliant on oil-based plastics. They can't just swap the pla paper bags overnight. It doesn't work for them. You know, they need plastics. They have to have pla plastics. Are very, um, it's an amazing, you know, technology. It's, it's robust. It preserves. They can't just switch to paper bags on the alternative. They need plastics. So what they have to do? ESG is the biggest, you know, I investment sort of. Uh, trend at the moment and it will be for years that's environmental social and corporate governance it's basically ticking all the boxes you know for for people for the environment um so, and social government yeah all that and yeah. corporate governance and part of that is plastics you can't have yeah. these manufacturers are checking out you know one use plastics in the landfill or incinerated it's not it's not you it does not gonna happen anymore it's not gonna happen so this company is standing on a wave here and they are picking up commercially picking up this is your opportunity, ladies and gentlemen, to pull the trigger. Don't you understand? The market's not going to say to you, this is it. Little, yeah. You know, never no. knock your door, right? You know, with, with like a dark glasses on, like the men in black, and say, excuse me, Mr. Hibbard, yes, this is your opportunity. I said, what? Yeah. Is, this, is this my Sainsbury's delivery? No. Yeah. I'm oh. from the market. You're from the market? Oh. Yes. I'm an official of the market. This is your opportunity. It's not going to happen. Right? Right. Opportunities in the market are disguised as scary one-off drops. Yeah, that sounded like a hoax call anyway. It's not a call, it's a man would, at your door would, dressed all in black. That, so the oh, question I is, see. Pete, the question right. is, Pete, because you, obviously you've held off and fair play, you've come in well. Will you be buying in now or have you? I bought a little bit in today just because I saw the job opportunity and I thought, well, yeah, that's... Go big! That You've got to go big! What is wrong with you? Go big when it's just dropped! Just keep going. Now is the time to go big! Mortgage the house! Sell the family. <laughs> do your own research. It, yeah. it's stuff, uh, you know, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Don't do your own research. <laughs> do blindly what I say. Listen to everything I say. Yeah. Raise as much money as... Advice. This, yeah. this is investment advice. <laughs> Raise all the money you can, right? <laughs> get to the bank manager, yeah. get high interest loans, everything, and track the lot on biome. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and you'll be rich, son. Yeah, right. Can I ask don't, a question? Don't now? do that. Yeah, yeah. Just to clarify, don't do that. Uh, can I ask a question? I was going to ask about ten minutes ago. Uh, oh, sorry, yeah, so yeah. you got your five stocks, five year plan, all that. Yeah, get that. But today's news for bio, bio me, bio um, me. It had, it, one of your rules is that the reasons to sell would be uh, a, a, a change in the story. If the story's yeah. changed, yes. now. Today has like it's not catastrophically changed, but it's it not has changed. changed. It's not changed. Bit. Listen, it would change if they, if that customer stopped and said, "I'm at, now 
we decided we're going to stick with bad plastic. <laughs> no, we don't care. It's cheaper and we don't care about the environment. Yeah. We're going to stick with that, even though we've got a lot of equipment off you to manufacture the biodegradable stuff. And, uh, you know, and the uh, thing is, do you know, do you know something? Companies who don't adhere to the ESG will lose investment. That's the way it's going. That's why all companies right now are in the toilet, even though the oil price is rising. All companies are still valued way below where they were when the oil price was at this level years back because yeah. it wasn't the ESG then. People understand that. Money outflow is massive. Companies that don't adhere to ESG and they're just chucking out billions of little coffee pods into the landfill, they'll fall foul of the, mm. of the basically of the, of the, of the, you know, the correct code for the earth. You know, you should look after the environment. <laughs> but so you're saying that this the the change or today or the sorry the news today isn't a isn't a big change to the story. The story isn't the overall story hasn't changed. My question to you though is of your five stocks, what where how do you define a change in a story that would uh, force you to sell? So what's the trigger? What when uh, what level yeah, of change yeah. are you are you looking for before yeah. you say yeah okay I'm yeah. out now? Yeah yeah yeah. Of your yeah. magic five yeah. stocks. Yeah yeah good question yeah. yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah, yeah. marvellous. Yes, fantastic. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, thanks. Thanks for your answer. Thank That's you, great. thank you. Steve. <laughs> <laughs> That's fantastic. Lovely. Good question. Yeah, okay, yeah. Good um, question. It's a very good question, actually. Do you know, I've, I've done podcasts. This is funny. I've done podcasts with CEOs and stuff. They, they've written the questions. They, sometimes you get companies that are really anal and they insist you ask their questions. Generally, they're the companies to avoid. They're very controlling, you know. And, um, and um, I'll ask their question. They'll say, oh, that's a very good question, actually. And I thought, yeah, you wrote it. <laughs> you fool. <laughs> you pretend it is you know, spontaneous. Oh, that's a wonderful question. Yeah, that's a, that's, that's a fantastic question. I could question. have written it better myself. <laughs> no, I know. Yeah, yeah. I said, yeah. Uh, I'd like to say that one time. It'd be quite funny. Wouldn't it? Well, yeah, well, you wrote it. You, you, ins- you, ins- you insist I ask it, actually. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, but, I was uh, contractually obliged yeah. to ask it. I tell you who it was like that. It was, um, you know, my square who went bust and was a bit of a, you know, it was a, bit of a fraud. Um, um, yeah. They were literally so controlling. This is a, this is a massive red flag. What did uh, they do? They had a, a social network in Myanmar. Oh, yeah. Which, right. uh, yeah. which, you know, what, what, it's not what, a safe jurisdiction, really. No, exactly. <laughs> what was yeah. going to ever go wrong? Yeah, yeah. yeah. But um, so, so, right. yeah, yeah, so it's a Ask story. Listen, so, so, so I look for basically 20% growth, right? Uh, so growth. The most important thing for small cap stocks, apart from funding, they've got funding. Let's say they've got funding in place, which they have. They're going to be, they won't need to go to the markets here. I'm speaking with Paul, actually, on the podcast this week. Uh, so, should, hopefully, yeah, that's going to be done. But um, the broker notes suggest they don't need funding. They'll be cash flow positive next year. Um, and uh, so, yeah, so, so that's, that's the first and foremost. The most important thing is funding. Um, so, but in fact, you see Bidstack just raised 10 million at two pence. They're at three pence right now. It's 33% discount at 10 million. Wow. Yes, yes, yes. Anyway. So funding is there. Well, at least they've got funded now, anyway. But uh, it won't help, you know, shareholders who bought higher yeah. up, I suppose. But so funding, yes. Yeah, so so listen, it can happen to anyone. Uh, but secondly, the most important thing, or probably the most important thing, is growth. Now, I'm going to ask Steve, why is growth important, Steve? Growth's always important. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Perfect. That's it. That's all you need to do. That's, uh, that's Steve in your. <laughs> In your book, right? When you're I, can't, in, I can't think of anything where growth is not... Actually, no, I can't, actually. Well, a growth. A growth in yeah, the body. A growth in the, inside mm. you is probably not great. If yeah. you went to the doctor and he said, I've got growth on me, doctor, he said, well, growth is important. <laughs> you think, what? <laughs> has he been taking advice off Steve? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh-oh, Dr. Stephen. <laughs> and he said, no, no, doctor, I've got I see massive growth on my neck. Look, yes, growth is important. Oh, sorry, I've been reading a book in the stock market by Steve Martin. It's very good. <laughs> <laughs> um... But uh, so growth is important because one thing. Listen, as I said before, you can have proof of concept, right? Does the, does it work? You know. So, in fact, a good, good example of that is, is sort of EVRH. Remember with with the goggles and uh, yeah. boxes on your head, um, yeah. where people would look, to, you know, spend a day on their own in their bedroom watching a concert where thousands of people were enjoying themselves, and people thought, brilliant, that's excellent. You know, I thought, I thought, are many people? And I knew the hype and the hope was around it. So. Hope high potential, that rise is going to happen, yes. But is it sustainable? Because you've got the hope high potential based on the concept. Yes, it works. They've got the app, all that stuff. Uh, then you need commercial proof of concept. What does that mean? Well, 
Do people want it? Are people going to buy it? If they do buy it, and lots of them buy it, then that's good. Then that's growth in the revenue. That's called top line growth. That there is proof the product works. You know, commercially. If you've got that, it's very, very good. And so when you're looking at micro cap stocks, small cap stocks, do they? It doesn't matter how good you think the product is. That's a survey mm. of one. You know, if you if you obsessed on Twitter about a company that's got excellent tech, amazing tech, but it's not being commercialized or monetized, I can think of another company uh, as well. Then you can't say it's going to be a game changer. It's going to rule the world until mm. they get customers paying for it, and more customers paying for it the next year. And people think, wow, this is amazing. It, this it's not going to work. So if you've got top line growth, that's things. So as yet, even with this big profit warning, they're still on 18% growth, and then 41% or 40%, yeah, 42% next year. Um, yeah. So that's double what I want next year, and just below 20% this year. So to me, the story hasn't changed. Delayed. Yeah, so it's, it's, yeah. like, it's like me saying to you, let's meet up for a drink, boys, next week, you know, and, and go to a club. Yeah, me and you in the club mm. and all that, you know. And then I say, oh, listen, guys, I can't do it next week. And you say, right, well, I'm not going to be your friend ever again. Yeah. So why? why, why? The story's Perfect. changed. But it's not changed. Yeah. It's delayed. I can't make it. I mean, it's going to happen next week yeah. after. No, no, no. I'm going to delete you from my Facebook group. Yeah, that sounds fair. From a MySpace mm-hmm. chat group. That's okay, my bye-bye. Sp- yeah, yeah. So uh, I see that. As, as yeah, if, okay. Now, thank you. But do you see what I'm saying? Because it's at what level do we, you know, it's good to get some numbers around that to understand what you yeah, mean yeah. when you say I, story has changed. At what point? Well, no, I it's, guess, it's story, delayed, like, isn't it? I think, I think the point also is like, because you always said you want to get in, uh, look before the market and make money quicker. Whereas this has now delayed it significantly further. So you will, so even if you are in it for five years, mm. after five years, you would probably have made a lot less than you would have. So, you know, there could be another stock that comes along which actually ticks all the boxes and no, no, but no, no. without well, this the, delay. So, yeah, well, it moves quicker. Yeah. Yeah, that's this, try to yeah. see happening here, right? If you look at something like Powerhouse Energy, right? They've got yeah. no really commercial proof yet, right? Yeah. They've, they've, they've proof of concept, yeah. The concept is there. It sounds amazing. You could change, you know, crap into you know, clean, clean, clean energy. That's amazing. That is alchemy, mm-hmm. you know? Stuff people don't want into stuff people want. Yeah. That's amazing. Now, have you seen the business model on that? Have you seen many customers better that? No. Now, look how much that rallied, just in hope, high yeah. potential, right? Yeah, that's Bio, a good point, I, I Bio will go mad. I guarantee you, when it comes yeah. back on, more, and th- the odd thing is, they've now most followed company, the volume is huge, there are now more people knowing more about the story than there were yeah. last week. So, when it's ready to rally, it will rally, it will rally like crazy, and I've been out too early on many a stock, they're in a hot area and this one, I ain't going to let go of. And if I had, yeah. if I, if I had a topped up head, if I, if I wasn't so, you know, I've got plenty of stock in it, so I'm fine. But I mean, yeah. I would have topped up Mr. V as a drop. Hello, I'm Mr. Market. Now is your opportunity. Yeah, Powerhouse is a good example, actually, because I remember it, when we first started looking at around a penny, I think, and it was kind of like interesting. I wasn't convinced. And it dropped to like half a P, I think, or something, you know, right down. And did I buy any? No. Um, but yeah, absolutely. What got to seven, eight p, whatever, you know, exactly. And the story just improved, I suppose. But like you say, it's still not far from commercial, and so it was still hype and hope. But yes, it, it's an example of what can happen. And uh, I don't know, you know, who knows where Biome will go. But um, sorry, Biome. But um, it's going to do. Honestly, yeah. I, it's not that I they've got it's... commercial proof. Honestly, they're going. They're yeah. growing. Yeah, and yeah, if yeah. You, even even right now, even without that, six point seven million revenue under two times this current market cap. Um, you know, that's 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 cheap. Yeah. You know, look at any of the stock we hold, and it's not that cheap. No, we need that cheap. And plastics is a very hot area. People catch up. People don't know the story of him yet. They don't, honestly. Yeah. I was saying the same thing about bloody, you know, Escape Hunt <laughs> and Trefinity. Oh, yeah. Have you, have you bought into them now as well? Yeah, right. people will catch on. And then, yeah. oh, everybody. Honestly, 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 honestly. Uh, um, trust me on this, right? And I'm, I'm genuinely, oh. unless there's a major change in the story anyway, mm. I intend. I've held. I've held. Um, uh, player in for uh, three years. Another two years, I think it'll be uh, rocketing. Rocketing. Yeah. And then I'll review it. How much cash have you got at the moment, percentage-wise, in your portfolio? Oh, about, uh, about uh, 0.1%. 0.1%. Yeah. 
Yeah, is it really low? Yeah, I'm fully invested, boy. Fully right invested. up, yeah. Right up to the, the hilt. Do, do you know what's probably not helped with this this week? The heat. I think. The well, heat. Yeah, that as well. But I think Ooh, Wimbledon. Because I think because everyone's uh, portfolios have been plummeting, and then to have that just kind of happen towards the end of the week, you just go, yeah, it's not great. Is it? I don't think everyone's in that stock, but yeah. Steve, 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 Steve tell, tell all your friends, right, say, do you own research? In fact, just don't do, do your research. Just listen to me. Buy biome. Right? Mm. Make sure I, do you know what? I was at a barbecue last Sunday and I was um, shouting about it and then one of my friends messaged me today saying, is that stock you're talking about just dropped 25%? I was like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I said, yeah, but you survived. Now is the time! Yeah. Yeah, luckily they didn't buy and they were like, should I buy? And I was like, yeah, yeah. crack on. And did, and did they also say, um, yeah, you're not invited to the next barbecue because you stand shouting about micro cap stocks? Yeah, you're do you just know what? singing we, we, bio. Bio! You know, so, you know, bio! I did actually get really drunk and you know, sometimes the next morning, like, oh, I genuinely woke up there so I said, I think I was preaching a bit too much about stocks and shares. <laughs> oh my God, Steve preaching. I'd love yeah. to have yeah. seen that. Yeah. At last, Steve, that's good. I like to hear that. Yeah. Um, in fact, Steve, that's a good segue there. Um, I tweeted out a poll this week saying, well, that was right. Q2. How did your portfolio do? Okay, and the options were good, okay, get lost, Q2. 16.2% mm. um, said good. 25.7% said okay. 58.1% said get lost, Q2. And this is the thing, you see. We've had a rally, a big rally in the markets, you know. There's a lot of churn generally in the UK because we've had a rally from the sell-off of March 2020, you couldn't fail to make any old, you know, literally a person with no eyes, no ears could have just chucked a dart at the board of stocks and made money from March 2020. And that's why a lot of people joined the market, uh, you know, sort of made money and think this is easy. This is very easy. Yeah. This is all you have to do. Just buy something and it goes up. Is that it? Yeah, yeah. Now everything's rolling over a little bit. You know, you've got Bitcoin rolling over, crypto rolling over. There. You've got uh, stocks mainly going sideways or grinding lower. And it's hard. It's emotionally hard for you. This is now a stock picker's market where you have to pick stocks that are, you know, that are good value and are growing. You know, you, uh, if you're into small caps, of course, but I mean, even so, you have to pick good value. But that's what you look for. Uh, and in, in expanding commercial markets, is the market they're in hot? Is it expanding? Is it commercial? You know, uh, and do they have a commercial proof of concept? Not just a proof of concept, not just something that sounds like a good idea. Mm. Not some fella on, um, you know, Twitter who generally mm. basically uh, it works in a burger van saying, that is amazing tech. Because he doesn't know. No. And he's, he's probably one of the best guys at cooking burgers. Mm. But figure out whether the stock is involved in has you know a, a massive sort of market uh, potential opportunity commercially. He doesn't know that. He doesn't know yeah. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I, I, going back to the whole Q2 thing for me, I mean, it hasn't. It's just been the last few weeks of June, yeah. like the last two weeks probably of June. It's not the whole quarter. I mean, I think uh, in May I was like all time high for portfolio and stuff. But it's just the last two weeks of June just seem to bottom fell out of the portfolio but anyway yeah so that's been a bit of a a great eating experience but there we are that's just stocks yeah. and shares well, isn't it i guess the good news for us pete is uh united oil and gas uh, had a bit of a rally today <laughs> oh, there we go steve that's yeah. the silver lining yeah 10 yeah. up 10 percent today yeah this is the big stuff now steve We're mm. this time next year rodney Oh, that's because oil went up the other day. Just oil, oil yeah. Oil, prices. Oil prices. Oh, Steve oil. is keeping an eye on the market. Oh, Steve, yeah. where's, where's you get a market report from Steve? Just, you know, metal mm, prices mm. and all that stuff. And, oh, yeah. Only because it's widely available in the news. Well, one thing I did suggest on the WhatsApp group and nobody picked up on it was that I uh, I thought it would be great. Oh, and also, uh, Justin, congratulations on your new podcast. I thought that was very good. I haven't listened to the second episode yet, but the first episode, very interesting. I really liked it. Yeah, it's like we scripted this because I've just done the first, second one and I forgot to, men just forgot to mention it. But the, yeah, my second one basically is about um, how many jobs I've had, awful jobs, uh, being okay. skinned in London, being suspended from school, and then discovering when I discovered my passion in investing you know, I mentioned it before but um, and I didn't have enough mm. money to do anything about it for a long time I used to just I used to just buy in Financial Times and I could barely afford it I got on the tube and, yeah. and the Investors Chronicle I barely afforded that and uh, I used to underline stocks in the Financial Times where I used to come home very sad highlight stocks look at them in, financial, right. in the Investors Chronicle I'd read about them then highlight the, highlight the prices I'd sit there, take the, the, the prices out of the Financial Times just cut the pages get home lay them on my desk and underline them and highlight them the ones I liked but then I couldn't buy them for a long time because I couldn't afford them. 
It's not wow. actually the saddest thing you've ever done, really. Yeah, no, I know. <laughs> no, it's up there. But my idea uh, was that Steve should do a rival podcast yeah. where we just where he just sits and talks through his investments over the years, uh, you know, and talk about some of the research he did or didn't do, uh, some of the stories, some of the stocks he's still in that are virtually well, aren't really companies anymore, um, <laughs> and discuss the perils of the stock exchange. I think that would be quite interesting. I think it would be valuable for people. I, I did see that message. Uh, I was quite busy when I read it. Yeah. Um, but um, not, not tempted? Yeah, I wasn't tempted. No, I'm not going to lie. It's, oh, it would be uh, hilarious. I think it would be brilliant. No. You don't, I don't think you understand half the companies you've invested in, so it would be really entertaining to listen to. Well, we should um, maybe we should uh, you know give... Steve, a little bit on the end of this podcast that goes through some stocks. Yeah, just as okay, rational. You know you know maybe do a spin off then if it gets I think I, I think I compliment other, well, well, just around other people because I remember once years ago when I was working at Capital because um, I used to work on the breakfast show in, um, in South Wales and they said, Oh, do you want to be pretty funny if you do the, um, the Christmas Day special for us? I was like, Yeah, go on, I'll do that. <laughs> and it was one of the worst things I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> it was like, and, and even they were like, yeah, I think we're just better just bouncing off you, really. And yeah. Let's not give me the whole show. No, I, I don't know. I, I've seen enough. Uh, there was a few comments on the, on the sto- uh, Investment Club uh, Discord and also on Twitter. People just loving uh, Break Even Stephen. I thought, uh, yeah, I think you could uh, you could have a little niche there. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I think uh, it is about, um, about is Steve good to bounce off and get an opinion on, I think. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. Okay. Don't, don't let me host it. Yeah. Uh, that's a bit of a or, or how about live maths with Steve Martin? Yeah, Steve <laughs> where did, we just we just give him really hard sums to do and watch. Steve him. did like that, uh, something like, like that on the disco chat group. Sent Steve uh, classic there maths there. Ten <laughs> percent. <laughs> <10%. laughs> no. Nope. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. What was I say now? Uh, uh, oh yeah, it's, um, um, there's something here. Uh, uh, well, Steve, you had a question about Polarian, didn't you? The other week, you didn't get to it. You had one well, question. I, I'm not sure if it's a stupid question or not. It's just something that no, pops into is. my head. It probably is, yeah, and I'll probably explain it properly. So, what I was trying because obviously it, um, Polarian uh, and AIM stock, and I was just looking at uh, the FTSE 100 and other stocks that have gone from AIM stocks to FTSE 100 in a relatively what short a period. What a stupid question. <laughs> <laughs> What have an any, absolutely have any, stupid question. Yeah. Have any have ever any actually got to the FTSE 100? Yeah. Have they? Are you sure? Well, no, I don't know. I'm asking. Well, it isn't okay. it? Isn't it? So, what, well, there are companies, Steve. The thing is, you don't have to go. It's, it's not. Like, it's not like the you know football leagues where you get you know no. uh, you know relegated, promoted, or, uh, promoted or relegated. Yeah, I know that, but I know you can, you just join the market. If you, and usually, it tends to happen. Obviously, you join the market. Just join the market. Yeah. Join, sorry, join the join the market dot com. No. The National Stock Exchange. The yeah. National Stock <laughs> <laughs> How long have we been doing this podcast? I would love a company to release an RNS. We, today yeah. we are joining the National Stock Exchange. The national which, one. Which the, country? Uh, yeah. Which country? Well, the national one. The one, yeah. the international national one. Uh, so the UK, yeah. That's national. Right. You're international. Mm. Um, uh, so, so, so you go on, go on, Steve, carry so, on. So, yeah, I know that. So I don't know if you I, finished I the question. Know, I, I don't think you do. The National no. Stock Exchange, that's it. Mm-hmm. A bit like the national grid. Yep, that's it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but are there any then? <laughs> you know the question. Is, I don't. Are there, I don't yeah, carry on. Are there any companies that join the national grid? Sorry, national stock yeah. exchange. Yeah. <laughs> right. No, are there any aim stocks um, and companies that the have join. been um, promoted to the FTSE 100 to the na- to the national footy? To the, to the National Footy League. Yeah, so, what, so if their share price really rises very quickly, Steve, right, they all of a sudden, at the end of the year, they, go, they stand in front, they, they get on a podium on the National Stock Exchange and say, you've joined the FTSE! And everyone at the party, yeah, yeah. FTSE, yeah. FTSE, yeah. FTSE, FTSE, yeah, FTSE, like FTSE. They did, they did conga and everyone, da, 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 da. Mm. you know, party streamers, all that, FTSE, FTSE, FTSE. Oh, the share price goes down. Oh, you're out, sorry. Sorry. So, Sorry. Okay. Well, All right. Steve, I'll, I'll, Steve I'll I, have a, I have a question for you, Steve. What oh. is the FTSE 100? It's the top 100. Top yeah. the, f- the 100 biggest Com- toes in the country. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> one of the, yeah, 100 of the biggest companies in yeah. the UK. One, um, be, okay. Um, so, all right, so are there any companies in the FTSE 100 that were at one point at time 
Ear and A Company. It's right. a very good question. Imagine this is not on, uh, on, on Newsnight. Uh, right, sorry. sorry. So what is your question, by the way? <laughs> right, sorry, <laughs> hang on a sec. Hang on, hang on. I get, I get it now. Um, we'll have to move on to it. Sorry. No, 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 hang on, hang on, hang on. <laughs> is there any company... That's a that's good question. ...being a national exchange, for the exchange, has there ever been a company there that's gone from the AIM to the National FTSE Exchange, please. Right, next question, please. <laughs> no, so see, yeah, do you know what? You can join AIM, okay, and become as big as you want, and you don't have to go to the... the you don't, it's not the main... Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The AIM is the, oh, alter- right. AIM is the alternative investment market. It was set up for startups with supposedly less regulation, or they have to have um, you know, not as much history of trading because they're for startups, incubators, entrepreneurs, all that stuff. That's why there's so many AIM companies with no revenue, pre-revenue, because... They're a possibly a startup, you know. And in fact, you know what? I, uh, I did another Twitter. A Twitter. That, that's a discussion point. But uh, for example, if you look at Boohoo, right? Boohoo, they are uh, a four billion market cap company. And that that essentially is technically a FTSE 100 company. That's where sort of FTSE 100 start, around about four billion. So they could be by market cap, they could be in that FTSE 100. Right? And, and ASOS as well. Um, but you can change. You can make it direct listed if you want. Once you have you know, enough sort of... Is the uh, membership quite high or something? Yeah, yeah. yeah it's, it's, sorry, you're coming in, fella. Yeah. What have you yeah. got there? Have you got any ID? We're yeah, booed, not, haven't we? We're booed. Why, what, what, why would you not join it? Is right. like wearing trainers and stuff. Well, to a certain extent, I suppose, well, I don't know why they wouldn't, but Boohoo should really. But they, 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 I think they like saying we're going to be the most successful company on AIM. Ever, you know, same with ASOS. And if they move to the FTSE 100, they won't really. So I don't know why they do it. It's, it's odd, really, because you there must, there must be a reason they're not. There must be a disadvantage of some sort. Uh, no, the fees, honestly, oddly, the fees, because on, on AIM, right, you have to have a nominated advisor, right, a nomad. And that means someone who checks everything for you, makes everything fine. And so there's more red tape almost and regulation on, on, um, on, on AIM than there are... Because they're more risky, so it's basically it's meant to protect you know the private investor more uh, aim. So because the startups they're more risky but more rewardy, you know they can be. Uh, so obviously got a lot, a lot of failures on aim because that's the nature of new businesses, startups. Mm. That happens. So yeah, they could go. I don't know why they don't do it. See, uh, now I didn't know. I've learned something tonight because I always thought to get into the FTSE 100. Uh, sorry, yeah, you, you automatically got put. It's a bit like the charts, the top 40. You know, you sell enough singles, you get into the top 40. You haven't got a choice in it, have you? Yeah. So I just presume the FTSE 100 is the same. Yeah, no, but it's, yeah, it's odd because they're, they're different markets. See, the alternative investment market, in, in fact, it's, it obviously it's, it's, it's in, in, the, in the UK, obviously, it's, it's owned by the, um, the, the London Stock Exchange. But the LSE, the London Stock Exchange, is the main, what's called the main board. And the mm. alternative investment market is the junior market, as they call it. So yeah. you would think, yeah, it's worth going to the... I don't know why they don't do it. I mean, I, mean, I think that's ASOS that's as well is... Um, what's the market cap on ASOS? Because that's... That's like five billion. Is that still an aim? I think it is. Uh, mm. So am, the, am, I, am I also oh. presuming then the FTSE 100 isn't done in an order? Yeah. You have like who's number one? Oh no. Oh, you know, well, wait, yeah. no, 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 yeah, 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 you, you, yeah, yeah, yeah. You have to have a certain market cap. To, yeah. It's basically the top top 100 companies by market cap. You know, so size. Right. So yeah. So that's it. So some people drop out of that, and of course, what's the significance of that? Well, essentially, you have lots of funds. That hold, say, FTSE 100 companies, yeah. you know. Yeah. So if you drop out of it, or you know they, they know you're going to drop out of it because your share price has gone down, uh, then you get sometimes you get funds, you know, divesting their money, selling the stock basically, and mm. it'll drop. So even but, even yeah. the knowledge of falling out of it, but then they say, most oddly, once it's dropped out, they start to perform because uh, I don't know why it's a quirk of the thing, but they, it drops but out and then St- people invest. Oh. Steve's question or, like, or analogy with the charts that is right for the 250, 350 because they, they are the Next, the 250 is the 250 uh, biggest, isn't it? And 350, so it is a sort of like moving chart a little bit, and so that you drop out the 100. Oh, you're there. hang on, I've got it, I've got what? it. Right. I've got Steve's podcast. Right. It is like the chart. Oh, oh that would be excellent. Yeah. 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 Top of the pop. And up to this week's number two, it's it's Royal Dutch Shell. And at the top is AstraZeneca. Yeah, all right. And we got the CEO on. The CEO on from AstraZeneca on the phone. Hey, Bob, yeah, you've made number one. Brilliant. I can do my best. And he says, yeah, he says, again. Yeah, we were there last week. Yeah, yeah. Speak next week. 
Yeah. It, it the, could get dull after a few the weeks. The FTSE 350 it? countdown. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> D- down nine at 234. <laughs> <laughs> So there's, yeah, an, there's an AIM 100 as well, Steve. See, there's an AIM, you know, biggest 100 companies and all that yeah. stuff. It's not, it's not as recognised an index as, a, as the thing. So, uh, yeah. yeah, so... Um, um, so, can we go back right back to the start? Uh, I, think you had a, uh, I think you had a question about Polarian. No. S- Stylin. Yes, you were. You no, were no, 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 so no, Steve was... It's, again, it's, again, uh, it's a generalisation yeah. about an AIM company uh, going into the FUSSY 100. But, what? Okay. Oh, sorry, it was, it was looking back. I was just interested because I know we, we talked about potentially, but maybe not publicly, but we talked about potentially Polarian could be at the next FTSE 100 company or could, he, could, he, could be a FTSE 100 company. <laughs> oh, okay. So I was trying to look at comparisons to something that was like Polarian that okay. is in the FTSE 100 to, for no what? reason other than <laughs> interest. Right, okay. Just yeah. wondering. Okay, yeah. interesting. Mm. But, but yeah, yeah like, it, it yeah. could be like a boohoo and cause, could be massive on aim, or who knows? But yeah, yeah okay. So well, that, I'm not sure if that was a waste but of 15 I, I th- minutes. I think, I think um, what player would <laughs> yeah, do, probably. I think what player would do at certain levels so, so big, they'd probably uh, listen to NASDAQ as well as aim. They wouldn't yeah. probably go in the footsie, they'd probably go to NASDAQ. NASDAQ! Yeah. I, I yeah. can see that happening, actually. Um, yeah, but they could be, you know, multi-billion pound company. So uh, this is why I tweet out, it's, bit, 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 uh, quite, it's, it's associated in a certain way, it's relevant. Um, I did two polls, and this one, this one got th- three, not, not many votes, but 333 votes, Lord. Um, so if a company is pre-revenue, is it a business or a business plan? Because mm. on AIM, and I, I, I want to invest, this is why now I'm confident of holding stocks, okay? I want to invest in sustainable, growing companies. What do I mean by that? There's two kinds of share price growth, you know, essentially. Um, the, the, the share price can be fueled by two things. Companies that have news... And companies that have financials, uh, the one that rises on financials is sustainable. The one that just rises on news because they haven't got any financials is not. Most aim companies, well, resource pop and drop stocks, all that stuff, they haven't got any revenue coming in. They rely on news all the time. You know, it's like, oh, we've signed a, 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 a memorandum of understanding. Mm. Yes, yeah, that's of intent. Ooh. Have we done all that? And and it could make make us lots of money in the future. And then share price rises, and they raise some money off the back of that, and it falls back down. Uh, until you get, you know, revenue coming in, I was saying, it's an idea. It's an idea, isn't it? It's p- back to this thing, you know, proof of concept, proof of commercial concept. That's the difference. You know, if it's just an idea, there are plenty yeah. of ideas out there, but unless you start generating actual revenue, it's not a business, is it? It's an idea. It doesn't matter how much money you've invested in it. It's like, if, if I start something off and I start building a business myself, and I say, this is going to be a great business, actually, like Happy Map. You know, hey, happymap.com, brilliant. It's like a happy social network people are going to love. Essentially, until I start collecting money and revenue and people are paying for it, it's a hobby. It's an idea. It's not a proof yeah. and concept in any way whatsoever. It doesn't matter if you are a, a, a resource company, you know, chucking drills in the ground somewhere, say, we're going to drill lots of copper out of there. Mm. Are you? Yeah, it's going to be loads of it. We've done a study and they say there's loads down there. Is it? Yes, we're going to do that. Lot. Oh, we just found some more. Oh. I said, right, when are you going to actually sell it? Well, we're just going to release some more news first. Until they actually get it out of the ground, start selling it, it's still a business plan, isn't it? There's a plan there. Uh, what, what were the poll results? Uh, the poll results were... Yeah. Um, so if a company is uh, pre-revenue... Uh, 100% it's a business. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just want to remind you. If a company is pre-revenue, is it a business or business plan? Uh, 39.9% said business. Um, 60.1% said business plan. I suspect yeah. a lot of those people invested in that saying business and invested in pre-revenue companies. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and, I, I, I said, uh, it's I going to the that. moon. This is the next big stock. Yeah, I, I, I voted for a business plan because, yeah, absolutely. It's just, it's, yeah, it's nothing, is it? Not it's actually a business. It's potential. And that's, yeah. if you want sustainable rise, you're not going to get rich, honestly. You, I mean, you can't put a lot of money in a, in a stock that has no revenue unless you, because it'll pop and drop. You know, it'll be very volatile. So you can't just sit back as an investment in a business because it isn't a business. Don't kid no. yourselves out there, kids. If you're investing in something that's got no revenue, it isn't a business. It's not ge- generating real value. What is real value? It's basically cash. And why? Because that's an asset. Now, through life, acquire assets as much as you can and hold on to them. I mean, appreciating assets like a house, you know, because they'll go up. The more assets you can acquire in life, the richer you'll get. Your balance sheet on the, on, the, on, the, on the plus side there, on the positive side, on the asset side will grow. That's what makes you more valuable, more wealthy. And so as an owner of shares, you are owning a business. You are a shareholder of a business. So 
you know, get a share of a business where the asset's going to grow over time. At the moment, when you are raising money via dilution, you're not, you're not raising the asset. You're not doing any, 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 any value as yet. You're diluting the shareholder base. So yeah. it's all about assets, really, isn't it? Will they be generating assets? Uh, you know, I'm pretty sure. I saw that once. Um, it's funny, when you get... Uh, who is that said that? In fact, it was the psychology of money, it reminded me as well. But it was, it was something on Instagram saying, um, acquire assets in life. If you get rich, acquire more assets. He said, rich people acquire assets. Um, people who think they're rich but getting poorer basically acquire liabilities, you know, like loans to buy yep. flashy cars and stuff like that. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's, a yeah. that's a liability. So, um, you, uh, if you keep acquiring, if, you, if you're buying stuff, I think it was Rihanna who was skint, wasn't it? Rihanna the pop star. And she didn't understand that all the stuff she was buying because her, her agent told her she has to look like she's making it, making it successful. Um, buying all the stuff that, you know, the bling stuff and having parties and, and, and trying to show off. They're just co- they're liabilities. They're not assets. Acquire assets, you know, buy houses if you need to, but, you know, don't, uh, so, yeah. So that's why I think, um, so when you're investing, and I try and say this, that's why the companies I own now are heading towards cash generation. That means it's real value, the assets are growing. Full stop. That's it. End of story. People who voted, it's a business. Wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Uh, so, 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 okay. so, so, some people said if they have underlying IP or asset in construction that can be valued. Yeah, it can be valued. Everything can be valued. But will it be an appreciating asset? You know, if it's, I mean, IP on its own, unless it's commercial, uh, like I said, back, backing for it, it's not worth it. The value will go down. Um, so that's why, you know, there we are. But, uh, mm. So uh, that's, that's what we need to say, Steve. As a rule, okay. Uh, if I set up a house building business, which is pre-revenue because I haven't sold one yet, you know, I would definitely class my company as a business. This is something could be applied to loads of pre-revenue companies. Yeah, but no, but no, again, it's just a, a, an idea. Do you sell a house? It's not, is it? Okay. Do you think? <laughs> Steve? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, Steve? So if you want to invest, Steve... I'm not sure what you want me to say to that. No, well, I agree. No. I, I, yeah. I concur. Yeah, mm, I concur. Mm, mm. Nice. So next, uh, next time you invest in something, Steve, say, is it a business that's going to appreciate, that assets are going to appreciate? And that, or are, they, are, they, are, they, are they generating real value? That's it. Mm. That's what comes out of that. Do you know what? It's a bit. It's a bit like I had a concept for a T-shirt company a long time ago, oh. where mm. it would print people's name on the T-shirt right. in wave form. Yes. Right. It didn't. It, it didn't take off because yeah. I realised because, every because way you form of people's names look pretty much exactly the same. Steve, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I love yeah. that. Oh, I like it. Like, a, a, a sound wave. A yeah, sound, sound wave. wave. Yeah. So I, I, no, no hand wave. <laughs> no. So um. <laughs> so so so, okay. so how would um people know? Mm-hmm. Mm. Like it's uh, that's actually then because you could just that would be cracking, Steve. You actually pretty because most people wouldn't see someone else's T-shirt, so you could sell loads of them exactly the same. Yeah. And uh, yeah, it's, it's yeah. all the same. Because how would yeah, they know it's their name in the way? No, that, that's like wow. a ta- that's like the tattoo, isn't it? And like, yeah, that's my name in Arabic. Or is it though? Yeah, I'm just gonna <laughs> say that. That's like um, people sort of Chinese, and, so, and um, you know, someone walks to the shop there. Uh, I said, oh, why well, you've got sweet and sour chicken written in your arm? <laughs> exactly. So that's not. Yeah. So, so that means love and hate. No, it doesn't. It means it's, uh, it's yeah. yin and yang. No, it's not. It's sweet and sour chicken. <laughs> uh, did you have a name for that business, Steve? Waves. Brilliant. Yeah. Sadly, the company was already taken that name as well. So, oh, yeah. So it didn't go very far. It sunk. Yeah. Wave, yeah. Waves goodbye. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. That's, that's it, Steve. You could have invested. You could have bought, you know, a machine, a t-shirt printing thing. You could mm-hmm. have bought. A, hired a unit. Uh, you could have had business cards. You could have had an advertising campaign for all intents and purposes, right? And your mates, I bet. I remember you saying that actually. Your mates also in audio in the radio industry, but that's good. All the audio geeks, that's good. They're all backing you about it. That's a really good idea, Steve. So you mm. you, get, you, you hire a business unit, you get a T-shirt printing machine, you invest lots of money, you get a bank loan, everything. This is going to go well, this is. And then you don't sell a T-shirt. Mm. And that then, you realise, oh, this is just a business plan. This is just an idea. Mm. It wasn't actually a business. So, yeah. um, But you've got, you've, got, you know, you've got that machine, so that's an asset, but it's depreciating. Uh, you've got all your business cards. You know, I didn't go that far. Yeah, yeah. 
Um, okay. Okay. Right. Uh, one last thing, then I think. Uh, what was I say? Uh, yeah, no, no, sorry, no. that would make excellent content for Steve's podcast. So yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll spin that off. Yeah. We can have that yeah, later yeah. again. You just write that down, yeah. Steve. Okay. Right. Waves. <laughs> She's chatting himself. Though. And I Waves. had a business called Waves. Um, how far did it get, Steve? Actually. But, uh, <laughs> Steve, just, uh, just, just the concept. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> got to the concept idea. <laughs> got, got to the concept stage. Brilliant. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Good. Right. Anything else? No, that's it. I think. Uh, well, one other thing. Yeah, you know, is a quick quiz. Uh, it's, a, it's a TV recommendations. I've heard that um, that thing about the farm is quite good. Steve, oh, Jeremy Clark. Clarkson's have, farm. Have you heard yeah, about it? I finished it. Uh, I haven't heard about it. I, I see. I, I, some people. I don't, don't like Jeremy Clarkson, but this, what was the watch there? Oh no, is that what I said? I don't like him. I don't like Top Gear. I don't like uh, even worse the Grand Tour, which is overacted. Actually, and I, I don't know why I put it on because I, I had no intention of watching it, but I just I think I was intrigued. And actually, it was good. It's good. What? I quite enjoyed it. Yeah. You learn a bit about farming in a strange way. Did we say this last week? I'm sure we yeah. covered this last yeah, week. Yeah, Steve. yeah. And on the WhatsApp. Uh, just, just for yeah. a laugh, Steve, right? Every time I ask you for a TV recommendation now, just do that. Just okay? say Clarkson's Farm. Yeah, say, yeah. And, and, and say, yeah, yeah, yeah. say. Did we get anything about this last yeah, week? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, yeah, yeah, and yeah, say yeah, exactly yeah. the same as you said there. Every week yeah. we do it. It's, it's a running gag, okay? And yeah. Paddy will join in. He knows it. Because we've done it on WhatsApp. He's supposed to do it on WhatsApp. Mm. like, um, And we just yeah. repeat what we're saying every week. And then we'll say something else, like a proper, uh, you know. Ah. Well, I don't think it'll even need to be a joke. I'll probably forget and do the same thing next yeah, week. Yeah, good. And, so, and yeah. you'll say, I didn't, don't like him as a bloke, to be honest. And I didn't like no, that really. at all. And we'll no, okay. go through the whole no. rigmarole well. and then say... Okay. <laughs> and by the way, there's a tweet out from Jeremy Clarkson today saying, there's rumours we've been commissioned for a second series. That's not true, but we're hoping. Uh, so there we are. That's, that's, that's oh, a bit of... Um, wow. you know, uh, you, well, you started watching it. Did you enjoy it? Yeah, I'm still watching it. Well, good, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm so, I recommend Top Boy. Right. It's, I don't know if you've seen this. It was on. No. I didn't see it on Channel Four originally. It's about London gangs. It's very good. It's very well acted. But for some oh, reason, is that, is that the Drake thing? So, so, yeah, so, yeah. So season one, two, and three <laughs> were on Channel Four. They stopped it in 2013. Then Netflix, have, 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 because Drake liked it. You know, Drake, right. the Canadian rapper. He's the a, he's the a rap. duck. No, not oh, yeah. duck. No, it's, not yeah, the it's, duck. it's an easy mistake to make. That I, I thought right. that originally because I'm, right. I'm not that familiar with rappers. So I thought, oh, so mm. a duck has liked it. A Big duck deal. has liked this program. Yeah, and so Netflix right. has gone with a duck, have they? Mm. And uh, <laughs> turns out um, it wasn't. It was the Canadian <laughs> rapper. Uh, so. And it's on Netflix now. Season four is the next week. But you don't have to watch. Now, Megan's just gone back on her own and started watching the Channel 4 ones. I thought, on, on her own. She does that a lot. We watch something right. and we'd like to share a bit of TV time together. Then she starts yeah. watching something on her own. So right. I was up early. You weren't here. I said, I was right. up early. I was in the office doing some work. And you started watching yeah. on your own. Okay. Here we <laughs> you get up to watch TV. Wow. Okay. No, 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 no. It, of an evening, sometimes you know. It's, um, oh, I see. As you get, right. as you get like a couple. That's you know, you have things, things in common. Oh, you? Would, you know, watch oh, a TV see. series together. You know, just, oh, just, it just, nice. it just, it's, it's, a, it's just a break in, in the arguments. You know. Yeah, that's yeah. It punctuates <laughs> the arguments. <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah, but she secretly sometimes watches something on her own that she knew I'd enjoy, and that starts another argument. Um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, and this week sounds as well, brilliant. So I decided what I'm going to do, boys, in my spare time anyway. Now I've got you know, five stocks. Um, it's right. quarter. Think of quarters, right? Don't worry about daily price, share prices. Think of quarters. Now, you are a, a fund manager. You own these stocks. Report every quarter, see how it's going. Right? That's all you need to do. That's all you need to do. It's like a business. I'm a business. Every quarter, I'll, I'll prepare my accounts and show you how, how my, my investments have been performing. That's what I'm going to be doing. All right? Um, but, so why I've been doing this, I, I'm going to become a, a private mushroom farmer. Excellent. I've, I've actually created a little thing at the back there, behind the um, summer house right. in the dark corner. It's like a wooden construct out, be, out, out in a raised bed. I did it myself. Mm -hmm. I just did, got the saw out, got a little yep. drill, well and I've ordered some mushrooms are there. They're ready to go, and the um, oyster mushrooms are quite easy to do, apparently. Yeah, yeah. Mm. I'm going to do that, so, and, um, and maybe something else. Okay. Wow, well done. Thank you. I love mushrooms. I genuinely, yeah. the more I've, I've been, since I've stopped eating meat, I eat a lot of mushrooms. And, I, and I've been watching on the treadmill recently the goodness of mushrooms. And there's this guy on, on, on YouTube, you'd be, you'd be flabbergasted about how good they are for you from everything, from creating dementia, from, from in fact, magic mushrooms, about um, depression, uh, all that stuff, but uh, everything. And uh, it's phenomenal. They've been around forever, underground. Because it's like the first internet mushrooms are. They, they grow in what's called mycelium, which is a network of fungi. And it's like massive. It's like the internet under the ground. So the big, the big part of the mushrooms are underground. Unbelievable. Very interesting. Yeah, cool. fascinating. Okay. So it's worth uh, watching. Great. 
Okay. okay there's, something, there's something else I was going to say, but I'm going to leave it to next week, but I'm going to do a little teaser. Oi, oh, all right. Oh, yeah, all right, Steve, come on then. A, a little uh, thing I've added to my morning routine. I like you said, uh, I like what you said guess who I've murdered. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you next week if it's not in the headlines. Go on. Bye-bye. Yeah, go on. Uh, a little thing I've added to my morning routine, which I'd highly recommend to anyone. Um, Keep it clean, uh, Steve. Ha- ha- <laughs> health benefits. Big Uh-oh. Push. What, what was the last bit there? The big health. The big health benefits. Oh, so, oh, okay, the teaser is you're not going to tell us until... Um... Oh, I'll tell you until next week. No, no, it'll, 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 yeah, we'll talk about it next week. Okay, all right. Wow, excellent. Uh, I, I can't wait. It, oh, and it makes me scream. I said, Steve, keep it clean. Oh, I know what it is. I said keep it clean, Steve, come on. All right? You can't do that okay. next week on the podcast. Okay. Yeah. I have to tick a box on, on, on Audio Boom and iTunes saying this is adult yeah. content only. Yeah, yeah, clean. Yeah, okay. Uh, lovely. I'm going to get Oh, a little big game. If you listen to this on Saturday, ooh, what time is the game on? Eight o'clock in the evening. That's going to be a good one, isn't it? There's going to be a lot of people, right? Yeah. Drunk and happy or drunk and fighting, I think. So <laughs> let's hope okay. for... If you, want some, if you want some football snacks, get the football pizza from Asda. <laughs> there we are. Okay, okay t- thanks, what, Steve. What's the ticker? Okay. Yeah, Lovely. what's the ticker? Right. Yeah. Um, that's a great recommendation. Thanks, Steve. No, yeah, yeah. You're welcome. All right. Speak, speaking enjoy next that. To, speaking <laughs> next to the wiki. Bye. Brown's on it. The Share Pickers Weekend Podcast with Justin, Paddy, Peter and Steve. The content of this podcast is not intended as investment advice. It is for information purposes only. People in this podcast may hold positions in the stocks they talk about. Do not buy anything based solely on a tip or recommendation. Please do your own research.